say we are in very, very, <laughs> very good company. Welcome to Ivan. Thank you for coming. Thank you guys for having me. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed though because we've been going through your Instagram with your shirtless you know, photos, and I was like, is he coming shirtless? Is he going to come not? with his abs? No. But when can we get him shirtless? Because I mean, we actually, we planned ahead, and we yeah. like, we're like, you know what? We might get shirtless ourselves, you oh. know, so he doesn't so, feel so bad. Okay. So, so you know, we got our version of male I don't yeah. have muscle. abs normally. Yeah. Okay. And this is the biggest my um, upper body has looked So ever. we're going to do the interview like this, if you don't mind. All right, no worries. You know, natural habitat for you. <laughs> okay. All right. So how did you get into <laughs> Modeling, first yes. of all. Oh man, that's a long story. Tell us. Yeah, so um, I came here first for soccer. That was my main goal coming to the United States. And um, out of nowhere, just uh, my mom was visiting one time, and just uh, a photographer approached me out of nowhere and said, "Hey, like I think like it happens to pretty a much lot everyone." Of a lot of good people. Good people. Out of I mean, I mean, modeling. A lot of uh, a lot of them started like that, and the modeling career just got approached randomly, and they say, "Hey, are you interested in modeling? Have you done it before?" I was like, "Let's give it a shot." Were you I don't scared? Know. Your I, first shoot? I was like skeptical at first. Ah, in the first shoot? Yeah. Yeah, I had no experience. I didn't know what to do with my hands. I had no <laughs> That's experience. That's the worst. So, yeah, the hands are the worst. So awkward, and <laughs> I mean, I started like learning a little bit. Yeah. And I feel now I'm comfortable with it. Learn. I'm still learning. I saw learning I saw it. one of your moves, I think, is uh, hand in hair. Everyone talks about that. <laughs> like, like all my friends give me a lot of like hard time. Just, you know, like, just keep messing around with let's me. Let's see, let's see it. Can you do it for Can us? we do yeah, it? Yeah, let's just see it. Oh, oh. Yeah. The thing is, is it works. Yes. It, works. it does the it really job. Does so work. they can't they can only make fun a little bit. Yeah, you got, you got your like, you know, safe moves go to moves. What, let's see a couple of those safe moves, oh. right? <laughs> You just got the hair one, yeah. got the, the hand. And you have the oh, yeah, the hands. Yeah. Hand. Yeah. What's, what's the thing that the guys are doing nowadays with this one? Yeah, I think that's just for like Instagram. Yeah, I think oh. it's just something. Like you don't do one of these. Real them. models don't do this. Okay, so we're not models. So. Like, we aren't models, but um, we tried really yourself. hard. So we went on your Instagram and we chose our favorite photos of you. Oh and God. we reenacted them. That. We reenacted them. We tried to be you. Look into that monitor and tell us what you think on a scale of 0 to 10, starting with Leah. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't that good? You're welcome. I mean, I'm giving you a 10, girl. Thank you so much. That. Is that a 10? I think you actually That's look better ten. than That's you, Tiago. No offense. Wow. Um, <laughs> I think, I think I'm killing it there. there. All right, next up. Okay, see, that one was yes. easier for me. See, that one, I told you about that one. Yeah, I did that one. Do you think I did a good job on that one? Really good job. Uh, yeah. Thank you. That's you actually that one leg. of my first shooting. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. First nice. photo. The hand good. on face is a nice touch. Not a bad oh, amateur. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, I, seriously, I'm giving you a 10 on that one, too, because, you know, she's got the fingers right and the right Everything's placement. Right. And let me tell you something about the, we were just talking about hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hands are difficult, guys. Yeah. Let me tell you, his his remark about hands being the worst, oh, my gosh. I'm pretty sure I grabbed that tie, tie a thousand times. A thousand yeah, times. you did. Yeah. You did. But well, you, you nailed is it. really hard. This a lot of people don't realize how hard it is. <gasps> this one's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, the is Leah has yeah. abs. Oh, we got the background. <laughs> is that a problem? <laughs> oh, my God. Too funny. Hilarious. Too funny. So, ah, ah. okay, back to oh. us. Back to us. <laughs> all in all. How do you think we did? Really well. I don't know, like little awkward hands, but that's, you know, <laughs> that happens Listen, we can't help ourselves yeah. when we're, yeah. The, if you need hands. to show me where to put them, yeah, <laughs> wherever. Here, I'll just show them right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have had a lot of girl models come on the show to yeah. talk to us about their experience. And we've. this is the first time, clearly, <laughs> that we've had a male model come on. And we just wanted to know, like, in your experience, What's the kind of pressure? Because a lot of girls talk about that pressure with their bodies, the regimen, the diet. Do you do you feel like it's the same with male models? I mean, it's, maybe it's different for you know everyone. But in the beginning, I felt a little pressure because I didn't really know what to do, and I was like, well, I really, really got to be on top of everything and all that. But since time goes on, and you really learn how to like, you know. It just gets more comfortable over mm -hmm. time. You learn, you learn. So now when I go to a, a gig, it's more like, it's like on automatic. It feels natural, you know. Mm 
It's more like. And do you feel like there are times that you are sexualized and you don't want to be or don't mean to be? Like, like right so, now? I mean, it, it, it happens sometimes. It's, I, I feel like I just take it as part of the job, but you just don't make a big deal out of it. Interesting. Do you yeah. like modeling and do you miss soccer? I'm, I'm learning how to like the modeling mm -hmm. career like more and more over time, but of course I do miss soccer. That's my number one passion. That's why I came here. Yeah. Uh, I think if I had a chance, I would give my modeling career to go back to soccer, to be honest. Wow. I mean, that's impactful, but yeah. Well, it just goes to show how important it is. And yeah. on top of that, do you ever see yourself, I mean, thirst trapping or putting yeah. things out? Do you know out? what that is? A little, Explain okay, a more. so thirst trap is when you're gonna post a photo on Instagram for likes and comments. So like, every photo of mine, if you've seen my Instagram yet, <laughs> is a thirst trap. Yeah. Okay. She knows that picture is gonna like show a lot of skin, but it might get her a lot of you likes. You are a thirst trap. It. I feel Basically. like we all have done a little bit. Yeah, but I feel like it's different for a model because you all right, guys, all right, you, know? you guys, we'll be right back with <laughs> yeah. more of Chiago. Hell yeah. <laughs> are back on Get It Girl, and I've never looked better, and Chiago is still here with us. So how are you feeling? Do you feel comfortable here on Get It Girl so I'm far? I'm super comfortable. Yes. Yeah, more than I expected. Yeah. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that, because we are about to talk about uncomfortable situations with you, okay? okay. So this is called In a Pickle. So do you, have you heard that before, when you're in a pickle? Um, yeah, when, sometimes. Yeah, when you're like in a situation that you don't want to be with in and you want to like get out of it. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a situation and you tell me how you would normally get out of this. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> so, look. You take a screenshot of the conversation to send to someone, but you end up sending it to that same person. Ooh. <laughs> That's hard. That's a hard one, huh? <laughs> we can tell you're a bad liar already. <laughs> Tiago's not a big liar. I like oh, it. Yeah. I like it. I like it too, yeah. yeah. How do I come out of that How situation? Gonna, I mean, it depends on... Like, um, if you and I are the, having a conversation, it depends and then the you want to, like, tell Fiona about it, but you don't want me to know. So you're going to take a screenshot of that conversation and be like, dude, look at what she just but said. But you and accidentally sent it, it to her. her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're just, sweating right you now. You just did it. How are you going to... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm like. It ain't no lie. You know what I would do? I would be like... I would screenshot, send it, and I'll be like, is that what you really meant to say? You know? <laughs> or like, Try and cover it up. I would immediately go into Instagram, put it on my story, put emojis on it, smiley faces, question marks, and then save it, and then send it back and be like, hee hee, this is what I meant to send you. Good one. Thank you. That's very <laughs> professional. Yeah. Very good. I mean, I've done it before, and I just said, hey, my bad. There, I think I would go with that. You would do that on Yeah. Yes. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Chiago. Next, yeah. next pickle situation. So let's just say someone asks you on a date or a friend wants to hang and mm, you're not really feeling it, so you lie about maybe feeling sick or you lie about having something else to do, another conflict, and then you go out and you bump into that person. What do you do? Yeah, that, that happened before. <laughs> and what did you do? Oh, you just come up with something on the, on the spot. I suddenly feel um, better now. Yeah, yeah. It's just... Yeah, I was feeling better. It's good. Maybe. Y'all yeah. are all crazy town. I would say, oh, I had a saltine and my stomach flu is gone. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I had a That's saltine. That's one way to go. No way. Okay. I mean, personally, if I, I would have texted them back and been like, hey, I'm busy tonight. But the problem is, is you're saying, what if Bob messages you after Joe and you already made plans? Mm -hmm. You really want to see Bob? Yeah. You just chose no. the lamest names ever. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hang with Bob, Bob or Joe. Okay, last <laughs> uncomfortable situation. Okay, here we go. So you're in the middle of a date, right? It's going really well. She is fine. You are ready. And all of a sudden, <laughs> you think you might have to go to the toilet. It's a stomach issue, maybe a diarrhea issue. What do you do? I just go. <laughs> Wait, I right there? You just go right there? Stop. Just, I have to. You have to go. I have to go. I have to go. What if you think it's the, it's the last time that she'll date you? Well, then that's her then problem. Then that's la the last time then. Fiona, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I love yes. it. Yes. Yes. I this love is the it. life that I want to live right now. Coming from someone who has to go to the bathroom every time she's on a date, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll be single forever, actually. <laughs> No, okay, okay. No, I liked your answers. You're a very honest guy. Yeah. And you know, like, this is what you get. Yeah. What about one more about, um, what if you 
saw someone that you definitely had met before. They say hi, but you can't remember their name. Well, usually I happen to. Yeah. I, usually, I just try to pretend. <laughs> hey! Yeah, hey, bro! You. Like, with it. What up, man? Oh my god. I hey, would, I would fake an if it's, a, if, it's a, if it's a quick one, but if they try to get into a conversation, then you have to really, like. We're done. First, you try to get, like. No, we're done. Information. <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs>